Breaking news here on NFL Network. We said it might happen. It now has. And that is Jason Garrett, Tom Pelissero, is out in New York. That's right, Andrew, and this was a move that certainly seemed possible after the Giants offense once again struggled during their Monday night loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Really, there had been frustration with Jason Garrett as their offensive coordinator going back to his first season after he had returned to New York as part of Joe Judge's staff. There were other changes Judge made on offense last year, including changing his offensive line coach midstream during the season, but Garrett was somebody they decided to keep into year two. It just got to a point, and Judge alluded to it last night after that loss that they had to find a way to score more points because as judge put it they've got a lot of talent they have to find the way to be able to take advantage of that we do not yet have word on the interim offensive coordinator there would be multiple potential options on the coaching staff well we do know jason garrett the first nfl coach head coach coordinator or position coach to be fired during the course of this season. Of course, John Gruden resigned as the Raiders head coach back in October, but Garrett, the first firing here just a couple of days before Thanksgiving as the Giants now transitioned into a short week coming off that Monday night loss. Kim? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised it happened. I'm a little bit surprised it happened uh, as early in the day as it did. About 12.56, Dave Gettleman walked into a staffer's office and informed that person that Jason Garrett had been fired. So that's within the hour, obviously. Um, I I look at Jason Garrett as a guy who um, may or may not have put the Giants in the best position at all times, but I do know that his players didn't always make plays and certainly were not always available. The Giants have had an awful lot of injuries dating back to uh, the offseason, the OTAs, when, you know, Kadarius Toney couldn't get on the field. Kenny Galladay missed all of training camp. We all know about Saquon and his injury issues that have kept him off the field, although he at least is very familiar with everything the Giants do, generally speaking. So for Jason Garrett, he is now the fall guy. And things better improve because, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in the program, uh, Joe Judge has already called out his players. That was after the loss to the Rams. He then yesterday called out his coaches, plural. And today it's Jason Garrett who takes the fall. And and frankly, uh, the Giants defense yesterday did not exactly distinguish itself against Tom Brady and the Bucs either, by the way. So very interesting times for a Giants team where we don't usually see, see these kinds of moves from the organization. And today that banner says it all. OC Jason Garrett fired by the Giants. Yeah, and you go big picture here. The fact that Mike heading into last night's game, three and six, was tied for the Giants' best, I mean, sarcasm aside, best start since 2016. And as it stands right now, they'd be picking twice those two picks in the top ten next April. What is the big picture look here for this franchise? Yeah, well. I mean, I can go all the way big picture to that draft and say who's going to make those picks. That's what I'm getting I mean, at. John Mara made it. Yeah, I mean, John Mara made it clear. And the Giants just announced it, by the way. They have made it official uh, that he has been relieved, Jason Garrett, as uh, of his duties. So it starts at the coordinator level. Now, John Mara did, just a couple of weeks ago, express confidence in Joe Judge. He did say uh, in comments to the New York Post, after a game, I believe it was the Carolina game, that he hasn't lost the locker room and he still thinks that he can create the atmosphere that he wants to create there. So we'll see about Joe Judge. We'll see about Dave Gettleman and his future as we get into the offseason. But this is where it starts. And if it is Freddie Kitchens, the Giants have not yet named the interim. Joe Judge is going to talk in about two and a half hours to the media. So we'll see what he says uh, at that point. But if it is Freddie Kitchens, it'll be the second time that Kitchens uh, comes in as an interim offensive coordinator. Remember when Hugh Jackson was fired, Kitchens stepped in in 2018 for the Browns. And they actually did pretty well the rest of the year. Wound up leading to him getting the head coaching job. But they were 5-3, and three, and they were much better offensively down the stretch. So if it is Kitchens... No matter who it is, the Giants obviously hoping that it'll help Daniel Jones and this entire offense, which is ranked right now 25th in the league in points, 23rd in yards. If you include 2020 collectively under Jason Garrett, their ranks offensively were all in the 30s for total yardage, for points, for everything. So, yeah, the Giants are making a change. And if it is Freddie Kitchens, I mean, they they did go on a run in 2018, they being the Browns that got him a head coaching job for... Well, around a year. 